Today is December 16th, 2015, which is Joel and I's eight year anniversary, which is super exciting. And we also just got a new car today, so I guess that's our anniversary present for the both of us. We have to go to the courthouse and get the title and everything situated in that, so we're gonna take you along for that. And we're planning on going to dinner tonight. We're excited to take you along. So it's almost two in the afternoon, and I'm addicted to coffee, as you guys know. And we had a coffee maker, but it broke. So we've been making this instant coffee for the past couple of months, and I think that's fine. Eventually, I wanna get another coffee maker, but the instant coffee tastes okay if you make it right. So what I usually put in my coffee is stevia, and then I put milk. I like it light. I don't like my coffee dark. So speaking of coffee, Joel read a while ago that coffee companies, because they wanted to figure out what coffee people liked, so they asked people what kind of coffee that they liked, and they said like bold and dark and rich, and then they did a taste test, and over half the people during the taste test liked milky weak coffees. I don't know, I thought that was pretty interesting and I just wanted to share it. So I'm one of those people that like the weaker, milkier coffee. I kind of like it medium, not too weak. The car we got is a 2009 Toyota Corolla and we paid cash for it. We did not finance it. We bought it from a private seller. So we got a really good deal on it and we're really grateful for that. We have our Hyundai Elantra, which you've seen in previous videos, but that one, I, come, uh, I think it was the first week of December, it just rolled over to 200,000 miles. So now it has like 200,000, like 400 or whatever on it. There's just a lot of maintenance to be done with the cars. We'll probably fix it up a little bit, but we really needed this other car. And we're so grateful that we could have, you know, afford the car and it's a good car. Toyota's will last forever. So we're just so grateful to have it. So more about the car. Joel and I work in the automotive industry. My dad is a car salesman and he kind of got us in, in taking photos and videos for different dealerships. And we were at the dealership helping one of our, we have photographers that help us too, but we were there yesterday and my dad came up to me and told me about the car. My dad was a very, very big help in helping us take care of everything. Here's the new car and now we're at the courthouse and we're gonna get the title transferred over. Joel and I got home not too long ago and we went by the courthouse, but we were not able to transfer the title because Oh, well, he signed the title over to us, and then <clears throat> on the state website, he said that he sold it, but when we went to the courthouse, they said a sale was pending in the computer, and that we had to wait 48 hours, because if we transferred it over now, then it would say that we sold the car. And that doesn't make sense, we because want. we just bought the car. So we have to so. wait 48 hours, then we could transfer the title to us. We have 30 days to do that. Yeah, so we're gonna try to go by again this week or maybe early next week and do it. Joel and I wanna go out to eat and we're thinking about going to a Japanese restaurant. It's called Osaka and we usually go there for our anniversary and we went there last year. So it's kind of a tradition to go there. That's probably where we're gonna go. We will definitely take you along and we can't wait. It's so nice and clear out. Beautiful out and I just looked up the weather and it's 62 degrees and it's gonna be low of 39 tonight in the middle of the night And it rained last night. That's why there's that pedal there And it brought a cold front in yesterday. It was like high of 72 or something and then it, today it was like high of 66 or something I just want the weather to decide on what to do like you can stay cold or stay warm just one or the other in Texas the weather is like in one week you can have 70, high of 75, you know, on Tuesday or something, and then later in the week, Friday or Saturday, it's like high of 55 or something. It's just crazy weather here. And I've been living here all my life, and sometimes I'm still not used to it. It's pretty crazy. Where am you from? Does your weather do that? Like, is it crazy like ours? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So I just got out of the shower, and I'm about to put on makeup, and Joel is trimming his beard, and then we're going to head out to Osaka.
go. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my dress. This is from Target. These are from Kohl's. And my mom got me this jacket for Christmas. And I really like it. And we're hungry, so we're going to head out. There's Katz's. That's one of my favorite restaurants. They're like a New York deli themed restaurant. They have a really good food. Here is Osaka and like the video if you like Japanese food or sushi. This is like a dumpling they gave us as a free appetizer. This is like tempura vegetables they gave us. It turns out it's tempura shrimp, not tempura vegetables. Even better. I think this is mackerel and the uh, ocean. Um, ocean trout and mackerel sushi. I'm gonna have me some of that. It's really good looking. And here's a nice Philly roll. And this one's called a Mount Fuji roll. We've never had it. So here's my meal, it's called Yaki Nikudon, and it's sliced beef over rice, and it's really good. And I got Oyakodon, it's like egg and chicken donburi. And finally green tea, ice cream, and fried bananas. Mm. back from dinner and we had a wonderful dinner. We are totally stuffed. If you're ever in the Montrose area or you live in Houston and you like Japanese food and sushi, you should definitely check out Osaka. I'll have their information linked down below. They have wonderful service and food and you'll definitely enjoy it. You won't be disappointed. And I have to say that I love the new car we got. It's just wonderful. It's again a 2009 Toyota Corolla and we paid for it in cash, which is so much better than financing something. My parents have been bugging me for like a couple of years to get another car because I've had my Hyundai Elantra and that's a 2004 and we still have that car. But I mean, it just turned over 200,000 miles and you know, the shocks are out on it and the power steering pump's going out on it. Now we found out a couple of weeks ago the radiator's leaking again. So I mean the car, to be honest, is falling apart. But it won't die. I mean it's a good car. Hyundai Elantra's very good cars. If you're looking for one, get one. You will not be disappointed. Again, my parents have been bugging me get a new car for years and we waited and waited and waited. And then we finally found the right car and it was exactly what we wanted. And when I drive that car, I am just so happy with it because the bank can't take it away. It's mine. I own the car and it's so much sweeter when you wait. So if you're trying to get something out there and you're just discouraged, just keep saving your money. Don't finance it. Don't get a credit card because I guarantee you when you finally get it, it's so sweet, it just tastes so good. It tastes so much better than getting a credit card. Now you have to worry about paying you know, interest and all this bullshit. Don't do that. Freaking wait and just save the money and then it just when you get it, you'll own it and you'll be so much happier. So on that note, I hope that was a little bit encouraging for anybody out there. I just, I love encouraging people I am a huge fan of Dave Ramsey. If you don't know who he is, I'll have his website linked down below and his YouTube channel, and I'll have it in a card here. Look him up. He's helped thousands of people. Listen to Dave Ramsey. You know why I like him? Here's why I like him. Because he was like 26, I think, and he was a millionaire, but it was all on credit. He lost everything. He went bankrupt. He went bankrupt, and now... After years and years and years of not getting credit cards, not financing stuff, he has no credit. He's a millionaire again, and he has it. I mean, it's not on credit cards. So if he can do it, you know, he can teach people to do it. So that's why I like Dave Ramsey so much. I'm a huge fan of him. Check him out. He'll get you out of hard times. He's helped so many people. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. 
Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you subscribing and commenting. And I will see you again in the next vlog. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.